Hey everyone, I'm Mine, and welcome to the 77th episode of the Wood Crew Podcast. I'm here as always with my co-host, Matthew, and we're here to talk about Lego this week. It's a, it's a new thing for us this week, actually. This is not normally a Lego podcast, but we thought we'd tap into that market this week. Yeah, we're normally a... Um... Fortnite, like, weekly update podcast. Yep. Like, oh, they just added the Hop Rock Dolies back. I'm really excited for that one. That, that was, those were the dual pistols that gave you the hop rock powers when you shot them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Good. come on, Matthew. You should know. We talked about that uh, a few weeks ago on the podcast. Did they add that back? I don't know. <laughs> Something like that, I think. Doesn't matter. Anyway, before <laughs> we get started, we'll shout out to all the YouTube members who help support the channel. And a very special thank you to Pyro for Tier and Above, who are Garfield, Tumbleweed, and Suntan. If you're the viewer want to become a YouTube member, go click the Join button next to the Subscribe button. Now, let's get into the podcast. So... This week is potentially a shorter one because it's final season for both of us. We both have a lot of stuff going on, so I don't want to stick around too long. However, we also did have a decent amount of stuff revealed this week, so I guess it just depends on how much, how long we talk about it. Uh, last week we talked for a while. Don't expect it to be as long this week, but there's a decent amount of stuff. So we don't expect it to be as short either. What? Okay. Um, getting into it. Well, they'll know how long it is because, I mean, they'll have the full timer there. Let's see so, how long the video is. It is yeah. so cool. They know more than we do, and we're Literally. the ones making the podcast. Isn't that incredible? Hindsight is twenty twenty. <laughs> All right, you want to talk about Lego? Yep. So, what do you want to start with? You want to start with the so we had a the German Lego catalog for January. Let's, let's start there, just because there's some Ninjago stuff that I okay. wanted to talk about last week that we couldn't. So okay, so um, Stonewars de uh, has all Deutschland. of the, What? Stands for Deutschland. Yep. Um, Stone Wars has all of these set images over there. Alright, so, here's the first set that was revealed in this, uh, German Lego catalog. We have the Ninja Trading Zentrum, um, which, uh, translates to, uh, Ninja Trading Center. Yep. How do you feel about this one, Matthew? Um, I'm really upset this isn't releasing with the main wave. This, because um, they included my mock in a set, which makes me really happy. What? Um, Think, oh, I built right. A super, a super Whipper. Right. They, they have the Super Whipper here. But uh, I really like this set. I, I'm very excited to see how it like adds on to the main set. Um, I like it. I, I really don't have any complaints with this, honestly. I don't think it's a great standalone set, but as an add-on, which is what it's meant to be, I think it is pretty fantastic, and I really, also, really want to see what this looks like next to the temple. Agreed. Is the Zane exclusive here? No, no. This is just the same Zane in the set. Okay. Um, no, but I honestly, I feel like this will connect really nicely. Yeah. I love the brick-built wooden whipper. He is so funny. Agreed. I want this set just for him, but the rest of it, it's... It's fun. It feels very fun to me. I like it. I really have no complaints here. I will get this March 1st when it comes out. Uh, this is a, the Zane minifigure is not exclusive, but the spinner is. So that's yep. cool. It's this new spinner design, which we'll actually take a look at in a moment. But yeah, this uh, it feels it feels like it would fit well with the temple, and I want to see what it looks like with the temple. But obviously, okay. I'm getting it. I get all the Ninjago, but I, not the not like a set I'm super, super excited for, but I'm, I'm excited to get it. So I'm excited for this less that it's not coming out day one, but this will probably still be a day one in March purchase. Yeah, uh, maybe Lego will send it to me. Hopefully, I hope so. We'll see though. Maybe Lego will send it to me. <laughs> maybe. I feel like that's less likely. I mean, it's less likely, but the chances are not zero. <laughs> All right. Uh, next. I'm we... sorry. Not a lot of caffeine before we film this, so I'm like. A little hyped up. <laughs> that's okay. You know what? That, that's fine. <laughs> you want to talk about the spinners now? Yeah. So we also had three spinners revealed, which are in a similar style to the Zane one, but this is for Jay, Lloyd, and Kai, and they have, like, the FS hoods. These are really interesting. They look to be, like, reverse air jitsu. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how these work. So it's like the air jitsu thing, it's just, except you put it upside down on the top. Oh, shoot. I didn't realize they were in a capsule. Yeah, they're in a capsule. And I, then the design yeah. of the spinners themselves are very similar to FS, just wider. Yeah, I, I think that the tornadoes look very good. Yeah, the tornadoes do look really good. Um, the figures themselves all look pretty solid as well. I especially love Lloyd. Um, I'm definitely going to pick Jay up right away. Yeah, Jay, Jay looks cool here, but I'm worried what the figure's going to look like in person. 
Yeah. So I'm yeah. worried that the yellow is not going to blend well with the blue and it's just going to end up being green again. I know at least like the, the golden Zane with the FS hood, it looks really good on all official material, but the figure itself, the blue looks really bad on top of the gold. Okay, I don't have that one yet. So I have a feeling Jay may be a similar situation, but hopefully it looks good. But Kai and Lloyd definitely look fantastic. This is our first look at Kai. Um, and the spinners are unique. It's different. I like getting different stuff. Um, I've yeah, never I mean, been too big of a fan of the rip cords, but I understand why they do them. It, it makes it way easier to spin them, I will say that. For but sure. I, it's just they... I don't know, the rip cord stuff's always been a lot bigger, though these seem to be a little more compact than previous stuff. And they're definitely a lot cooler looking. Like, you can use yeah, these I, outside I, of the rip cord while Air Jetsu and stuff kind of only function as that. I think these are the best looking and most usable of all the rip cords that we've gotten. For sure, for sure. Um, Although dragon flyers are up there. <laughs> oh, the dragon flyers. Let's not talk about the dragon flyers. Okay, we won't talk about them. Right, yeah, they were just like, hey, what if we made Air Jitsu again, but instead there's just this huge plastic piece on it that makes it harder for it to fly. And also costs yeah. $5 more. Yeah. And also the figures are less desirable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, these are good. I don't have a ton to say about them, um, but I like them. And I will be picking yeah. all three of them up, as I always do. And 10 euro, which means $10 probably. Yeah. And uh, either 30 or 40 USD for um, the training center, which is a great price, either of them, I think. Yeah, I, I think... Yeah, I, I'm not sure. Do we have a piece count on that one? Oh, 520. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, 30 or 40 would be good. Yeah. Uh, except for both of them. None of them I'm super, neither of them I'm super passionate about, but they're both probably going to be pretty good. Yeah, agreed. All right, what uh, theme do we want to go to next? Can talk about City because I really like both of these? Yes, so City, we uh, last week we talked about these space sets, and we just had two more revealed, and both of these yep. are kind of better than the two we already had. So I love the first moon base, but I definitely think these top it for me, and the smaller one here, the um, little rover, that is probably going to be a day one for me. So, okay, as, assuming that uh, America doesn't jack up the price, which is still very possible... If this is thirty dollars, um, that's actually a fairly priced city set for a good city set with like good minifigures. So I'd be kind of like amazed that that came to fruition. Yeah, uh, you uh, you get three minifigures. It looks like here two of the really good looking astronauts and one pilot, as well as it looks like this is going to have some interior space. Yeah, and the the rover itself looks good. The astronauts have dual molded arms. Comes with that new the rock piece. The rover itself is one of the most accurate. Like not uh, actually, I'll, no, I'm not going to say one of the most accurate. All, this this wave of city is like really, really does a good job of capturing the mass of vehicles. I think. Yeah. Um, and this is no different. The wheels are like accurate to how our modern moon rovers and like space rovers look. Um, it, it looks really good in my opinion. Like this is one of the best moon rovers they've done, creator or city. Yeah, I, I like it. I might pick this one up. This is assuming it doesn't get its price like raised in the uh, in the U.S. This is one that I see myself getting um and then speaking of i might pick up i there's a good chance i'll probably get this other one too because my guess is it will connect to the other space station we've gotten in some way the mond Ra realm station the what that's the uh, it's in german i can't say it <laughs> that that's just this moon space station okay <laughs> yeah the lunar space station um yeah, this one, it looks good. I will not be getting this one. Um, it uses the same module connectors that the last $60 space station used, so my hope is really that I can connect this to my other space station, because I feel like on its own, this is weaker than the last one, but if I connected them, this would be incredible. Yeah, that'd be cool. Um, Many figures my... look cool, love all the spacemen, and I like the outfits like within the um, station itself. Those look, those those look cool. Are new. What? Those are not new. All right. I, yeah, we talked about them last week, didn't we? And you said they were from... Those are those are the same space sets as the, the last city line. The ex like the exosuits, like the moonwalk suits and whatnot, those are new. Right. And so much better than the last ones, I think. But uh, the interior suits are not new. Yeah, just seeing them like inside this uh, inside the space station, though, I don't know, it just looks cool to me seeing them in that context rather than just being outside of it. If this does connect to the other one, this will be a soon after day one purchase, and I'll also probably change my other one's orange to dark blue just so it matches better. But uh, I'm, I'm both of these are definite definite purchases for me. Like I will buy both of these. Yeah, this is not one I'll get. Uh, the price looks like it's probably not going to be very good either. But the, the the rover I do like, and I will probably pick that one up. 
Yeah. Um, and also, I don't think we mentioned, but all these sets are March, most likely. So, uh, yeah, all the sets in this catalog are March 1st. Yes. Um, or, uh, technically, they're not confirmed March 1st outside of Germany, but most likely, if they're March 1st in Germany, they aren't March 1st elsewhere. But we don't know yeah. that for sure, so I guess um, it's important to clarify, maybe? Yeah, but I really like both these base sets, and... <sighs> I don't know, man. If I ever see the other two on sale or clearance or whatever, I might pick them up just because of how... Especially the Rocket, if it wasn't 150 that would be a definite buy for me. Yeah. No, like, I, 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 I'm in the same boat with you. Like, I, I don't think I'd buy it, but like, there's a lot of city sets I, that I'd be a lot more tempted to get if they weren't so expensive. <laughs> I like space sets more than you do. So. Yeah, yeah. I like space, I just like more fantasy space. If they had a Space Police yeah. or Alien Conquest style theme again, I would be all over it, but... Another per... Sorry, I'm interrupting you. You're good. Okay, another personal reason I'm really excited about these new, like, white and blue space suits is it matches that mock I made. Remember that, like, giant space... Oh, that's suit? right, yeah. I've been using the uh, orange space suits for that, and I use, like, the blue jumpsuits for the inside, but I use the orange, like, exterior space suits, and I will definitely be switching to these, like blue and white ones because they will look so much better with that yeah um, i'm very excited about these figures like yeah. i will really work with a few of them if they're not on those pieces you could honestly probably army build the rover that might be the cheapest way to get them. <laughs> i i i honestly wouldn't mind having a few of that set yeah either. and something else cool that would probably fit inside of my cruiser oh really that'd be awesome because you know how it has like that giant bay i've, I've never posted anything on that like, you, I, you really should because, like, that's a very cool mock, but I have, like, a lander that fits in the back. This thing would probably fit in the back of it. Hmm. Alright, you want to move on to Harry Potter? Yes, because these are also really exciting. Yeah, so... First, we have two more Hogwarts moment sets. I yeah. still find the name of these sets so far. I Agreed. I think these are better than half of the first wave. There are two that I think these are equal to. The Gryffindor and Ravenclaw are not very good. The Hufflepuff and Slytherin are fantastic, and I think both of these kind of rival those. So first we have Hogwarts Moment. Uh, what's this one? Divination class? Yep. Um, you, you know Harry Potter. You talk about this one. All right. So I'm very excited. They're moving on already with like the reboot to the older years because we're back to getting um, years three and four here. This is based on, I think, year three. Um I think two of the three Harry Potter sets we have here are year three. Um, I think this looks really good. Uh, the interior on the Divination class, uh, we don't have much of it, but just with the purple backdrop with like the dark red and the tan, I think it looks really good, and this one will be very fun for pictures and just display. Also, we're finally getting a Patil twin in an actual set. We got them in the Advent calendar last year. Oh, but that's I, right. I like getting them in an actual set. Yeah. Yeah. New Harry Potter face, it looks like. Um, that's kind of cool. New Professor Trelawney, that's pretty cool. I what, think is, what did she come in before? Was she a CMF? Once the first CMF. Okay. So we've not gotten her in a long time. Okay, yeah, so that's, that's good to get her again. Um, and this this version, I almost think, looks better than the first one. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this is good. I think this other one is better. This is the um, Defense Against the Dark Art class from year four. Finally getting Mad-Eye Moody again, and this one looks really good. He has a new face print, and I think just from the rough images we have, it looks better than the first one. Really? I, I, I don't know how you're able to tell that. It looks very similar to me. I have looked at the original figures for so long that, like, okay. it's like... A lot of him looks very similar to the original, though, right? There is a lot of similarity, um, but... New Neville and New Hermione, and both of them look really good. My only complaint here is that we get the same characters over and over again in these, and it's a little tired to me. Yeah, I wish we would get more variety in the uh, houses, because these are all Gryffindor figures. Yeah, I will say, we're getting a black of that new chess piece, and there's a micro figure of Mad-Eye Moody in there. Is there really? Yes. Oh my goodness. Whoa, that's awesome. Yeah, so I really like that. Defense Against the Dark Art class has, like always been my favorite class design from the movies, so it's really well translated here, which I love. Yeah. Um, I, I might honestly get two of this set and try to integrate, like, what I might do is get two of this, keep one as is, and then buy a girl's bathroom set to go with it and try to, like, swap the pieces out from this into that to make, like, a module classroom. Try to make it into an actual room instead of a book? Yes, yes. Yeah. 
I've yet so, to get any of the actual Hogwarts moment sets, but these two I, I would consider. I think of the ones out now and these, these look better. Okay. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure. None of even these don't like excite me a ton, but they do look really good. I, I really like the purple. I just think that's a fun color. I think the purple one could be useful for Ninjago photography as well. Yeah. I don't know. Um, it, both of these are really good. Not day one for me, but I will get them. Yeah. Um, moving on, though, this set is very exciting to me. So um, what's the name of the set? This is the this Hospital is Wing. Hospital Wing. So, Harry, Ron, Hermione... Least interesting part of this set. Um, I will say though, Time Turner is now not printed, and it's like a little one by one stud, which is exciting. Yeah. Um, and I'm all, this is also finally going to be a way for me to get the like cast piece because I still don't have that, and I really want it. Really? That that came out a few years ago. I know. I just like don't have one. Well, actually, you said you don't care about Harry, Ron, and Hermione, but it looks like Ron might have a Ron's one leg is in a cat. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. Oh, actually, okay. that might just be a white mid-leg, actually. No, I, I think it is just a white mid-leg, but still, it's, like, a little different. But we're finally getting Madame Pomfrey. I, like, this has been close to the top of my Harry Potter wanted minifigure list for a very long time. And I'm very glad we are finally getting her. I'm also glad that this is continuing the uh, castle system from last year, because I prefer that to any other castle system they've done. Oh, I just realized, this is a full-sized Harry Potter set that's coming out before August. That's new. Yeah, yeah. Because all we've got, all we've gotten before is the Hogwarts moments, and everything else has been June slash August. Yeah, um, and along with that, I think just as an expansion, this looks really good. I'm excited to see the interior. Um, probably a day one buy for me, honestly. This is uh, one I'd consider getting. Honestly, for fifty dollars, being as fluffy as room was forty, this is a huge improvement. Oh, I forgot fluffy's room was forty. That's like a thirty dollars set in my mind permanently. Yeah. I mean, it went on 30, 20% off really fast. So. Yeah. Um, one thing I noticed is, uh, what, Madame Pomfrey is the character's name? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's Leia's skirt that it she is. uses. I, I noticed that as well. Yeah. Interesting. I mean, it works well enough, so I'm not going to complain, but it's so strange have... to see, like, Star Wars parts in Harry Potter. I have one complaint about this set. Yeah. The new line of castles has been pretty big on raising the castle up on top of the rocks, and this does not have any mountain underneath, and that's a little disappointing to me. I would have much preferred this be a $60 set and had three, like, 8x8 modules to go under this just so it's level with the rest of them. Well, I think it's implied that you stack this on top of something else. Yeah, you're probably right. Because, like, the girl's bathroom doesn't have rocks underneath it, but that's because it's not supposed to be the base floor. Yeah. Honestly, I think I could see myself stacking this on top of the flying lesson so Yeah. Because that has, like, an entrance. It's like, the, the clock's supposed to be at, like, the very top of the building, so it makes sense that, like, it's supposed yeah. to be multiple rooms beneath. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm curious to see, like, what other sets we're going to get this year from, because it's very cool that they're continuing the, like, green roof um, modularity, and I want to see, like, where else they go, because, like, this genuinely interests me. Um, I love the the two sets I have from this line, and I want to get more. I honestly think you should eventually get the other two. I probably will at some. Because the flying lesson is a fantastic set, and Fluffy's like not that good, but like <laughs> looks good on the exterior. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I don't have much else to say on this one though. Same. It's good. Good. All right, and then is there anything else from this magazine? Creator, because there's some very good creator sets. Creator, uh, okay. So I'm not that interested in the not minifigure scale jet. However, I will say it looks good. Yeah. Oh, wait, it comes with a stand. That's really cool. That is, that is cool. Um, yeah, uh, the teal cult car is kind of cool, but I don't really care for the other two. I won't get that. And then um, the dune buggy is so boring to me. Yeah. However, going on to the next page, we've got an adorable dolphin, a fantastic owl, and like a Voltron mech. Yeah. Voltron mech, which turns into a dragon, and a, uh, Voltron mech turns into a dragon and a jet. I honestly might get the Voltron looking one, just because I think it's cool. Bro, that's just straight up a Ninjago set. But like, it isn't. It is not the style of Ninjago. No, but like, a mech that transforms into a jet and a dragon, that could very easily be a Ninjago set. <laughs> yes. 
but it doesn't transform what Lee builds. You're right, yeah. Um, um, I really like the owl. The owl's really cute. Agreed. Oh, you can turn it. You can rebuild the owl into a squirrel, Matthew. Well, I know. I might. I might make it a squirrel. <laughs> you love squirrels, Matthew. However, there's also a hedgehog in the base build. There is I, a hedgehog. I have a, I have a history with hedgehogs. Oh, you do. <laughs> well, you can transform the hedgehog into an acorn. So. That's true. You know. But, uh, like, I consider the dolphin's just kind of funny. Like the dolphin's like goofy. You can make him a seahorse. That's cool. Yeah, the dolphin's really cute though. I, I like I love how rounded he is. Is that and, a new oh, piece for like the top of his head? That came out in the um big minion Mickey set. It was on the camera for that. Oh okay. Cool. You know, that's probably also used on the question mark block now that you it. It is. Okay. Um also, this is nine euro, so if this is a ten dollar set, I would probably pick it up, honestly. Yeah. I I usually don't get creator. These are all things that like eh maybe, but probably not. Not yeah. because they're bad, just because it's not the kind of stuff I usually buy. That that's fair. Um, the new dot stuff. Wait, hold on, real quick. I want to mention Lego Classic. Okay. Um, I really love this monster builder one. Oh, that's cool. Like it comes. Like look at the box art. It shows like all these different creatures you can build. That just seems very fun to me. Um, yeah. Oh, and it's oh. wait. It's only ten dollars. Oh wow, that's very cheap. Um, creative monsters. Hundred. I. I'll probably get that if I see it. Genuinely. It has some really cool like arm pieces in there if you can see that. Yeah. Um also, this gearbox is interesting. Yeah, it looks like it uses the Mario arms, yeah. Um oh wow, yeah, whoa. That's a really useful one too. Yeah, and how much does it say? This one is like twenty? Thirty. Thirty, yeah. but 30 so for five hundred pieces though. Yeah. Classic's something that I really like and I haven't gotten too much from, but I would love to get more from. Agreed. Just because I I, I got I, I got something small recently, like the little five dollar blue box I got. Those are fun. I like the box. Yeah, I got one of those because it was like forty percent off at uh, Walmart and I, I love it. Like I, I built something really stupid out of it and I'm like, this is great. Yeah. So I like every time I see the big classic boxes I always consider it, but the, the monster I will definitely get, um, and then the, the gear looks very cool, too. I'm looking at this dot stuff. We're getting a, um, another, it's like a luggage tag box set with a bunch of letters. Huh. Interesting. I would pick that up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the, the letters. Those, the letters are cool to get. And the luggage tags are cool. I used the cubes as my luggage tag last time, and it worked pretty well. Yeah. Um, but these are proper luggage tags. Uh, yeah, I, I'd actually consider getting that one, too. I like that. Yeah. Um, That's about it. Uh, just confirmation that Jurassic World is coming. Uh, Technic, yeah. don't care. Uh, friends, is any more good friends? Uh, they're okay, but I'm not going to get them. The... the... What's the this like veterinarian office? I really like the cat and dog sign at the top of it. I think that's really cute. Agreed. Um. Ooh, what's the is this tube slide piece new? No, that's been out for a few years at this point. I think. Huh. I want that. That seems cool. It is cool. I uh, have it. The rest of that set. Oh, um. And then this little beach set's pretty cute too. Yeah, I agree. Uh, but like, I'm not. The treehouse from last week is the only one I'd be like, yeah, I'm gonna get that. The treehouse in the city from last week, I feel very like, wow, that's a that's a good Lego set. These are solid yeah. though for our audience. Not gonna buy them, but solid. Um, and yeah, I think that's it for the magazine. Any final thoughts on the stuff we just talked about, Matthew? Um, no, I do not. All right, you want to move on to Spidey and his amazing friends? Yeah, we'll be looking at these. Uh, these are on Brickset. They may also be on Lego.com. No, they're J.B. Spielborn posted them. So Brickset or J.B. Spielborn, your choice. Uh, I'm going to go with Brickset for that, baby. Uh, heck yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we had four Spidey and his amazing friends sets. So this is a show that's, like, made for babies. Um, like, it's, what, on Disney Junior or something? And it's about Spider-Man fighting the bad guys. So these are all four plus sets. However, they're all kind of fire, not gonna lie. I'm looking for them. They are, they, I, I know I looked at them pretty closely the other day, and they are 
Oh, kind of fire. Like, I'm probably getting two of these, maybe three, which I'm shocked I'm saying because I'm not even the world's biggest Spider-Man fan, but these just look really good. Where are they on their website? Uh, I just went to, in news, new sets. I found it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, so we had four of them. We have Spider-Man's Techno Trike, Hulk vs. Rhino Truck Showdown, Spider-Man and Doc Ock's Lab, and the Spider-Man Web Quarters <laughs> Hangout. <laughs> yep. Alright, you want to go uh, smallest to biggest? Yes, I do. The first we have Spider-Man's Techno Trike. This one's solid. Um, it's a kid's set. I mean, it's a little kid set. Yeah, I'm, I won't get this one, but it uses a similar building system to the bikes, like the Kai bike and yes. the Captain America bike, and I really like both of those sets, so this one's very solid. Uh, <laughs> probably will not get this one, because I don't need a Green Goblin, I don't need a Miles Morales, because I already have better versions of those figures, but... Yeah, this one's not on the list, really, for it's, me. It's good for what it is. Uh, <laughs> next, we have the Hulk versus Rhino Truck Showdown. This one I will get 100%. Um, I will get this, like, 70%. I love the Rhino figure. The Hulk figure's cool, and it's, like, the build I could probably use for something. Yeah, the, the build's very funny. It's very fun. Obviously, big pieces because it's a 4-plus set, but I like it. The Rhino figure's yeah. genuinely good. I don't really care about Rhino, but it's a cool figure. And I've always wanted a mini figure scale Hulk, so it's cool to get one. Um, Agreed. Spidey himself, whatever. Cool to get another variant of him, but eh. Really care for the baby version. This next one is my favorite of the sets. Uh, mine too. So next we have Spider-Man Doc Ock's Lab. It comes with uh, Spider-Gwen, Spider-Man, and the female Doc Ock from... Well, not technically from Spider-Verse, but it's clearly inspired from, of, by the version yep. of her from Spider-Verse, and that's why I want this set. That hair piece is incredible. Yeah, no, it's it's an amazing. I hope we get that in more sets. Um, I agree. I also don't have any Spider Gwen, so I'll probably just put long legs on this and be like, "This is my Spider Gwen minifigure." Yeah, what's that? What's that in the very back of this set? Is that like a baby spider mold? I think so. Interesting. Kinda cute. Um, but yeah, I just want the set for Doc Ock herself. She looks awesome. Yeah, and then this biggest set, there's really no reason to get the smallest one, because this also has Miles Morales and um, Green Goblin if you wanted either of them. Yeah, this is one I... It's not one I'll buy with my own money, but I'd consider maybe getting this from Lan at some point. Um, yeah, I mean, it's fun. It I love the... Uh, what's uh, what's her name? Uh, Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel figure, yeah. Yeah, she's figure. cool. It's cool to get her again, because we haven't gotten her in a hot moment. Uh, get, I think that's a new hair piece. It is. Um, yeah. You get all three Spider-Men here. Um, also, a reminder that this is the 4 Plus set, so everything you see detailed in the set is a print, not a sticker, which is very cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is one I'd consider. It seems very fun. Agreed. Um, but I definitely want the set with Doc Ock. Yeah, I want the Doc Ock set, and I want the Rhino set. Uh, they won't yeah. be day one, most likely, but I will get them. Agreed. Um, yeah, overall, very solid for 4 Plus theme, because usually 4 Plus kind of stinko poo-poo. Well, not, not, not stinko poo-poo, but, you know, to me... Because, like, I'm not a little baby. Yeah. Um, I'm a big yeah, boy. Well, well, well. But I love when a 4 plus set could be good for the babies and good for the big boys, too, you know? Amen. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. But, yeah, I think that's... It's fun it. for the whole family. Heck, yeah. I think that's about it. Um, Did we have anything else revealed? Uh, nope. We never week? talked about last week's dots, but I don't really need to. We haven't talked about the CMF yet, but I have that now. I'm going to do a review on Friday. It's better if we talk about it after I've done my review. Okay. Um, um, because I, I don't know how to talk about it and not review it having already gotten it in hand. Yeah. Um, so just stay tuned for my review. Then we'll t And then Matthew will also give his thoughts next week, probably. Uh, did we talk about Marvel Max being cancelled? Yeah. Uh, no, we didn't actually. That, that, that was announced the day we posted last week's. So these, the Marvel Max were delayed or cancelled, and uh, every, at first I was wondering why, but then I saw these pictures of what the hip joints look like up close, and I don't know if you looked at these, Matthew. I did notice that when I like when the pictures first came out, and I was like, that's a weird choice, but I was like, okay. But like now that I'm seeing this, how was this ever approved? Like This I feels know, because... so flimsy. I know how bad those pieces connect to each other. Yeah, no. Um, this is... Yeah, this just isn't good. <laughs> I don't, that's the only word I have for it. This is very similar to how the fingers on the Titan mech connect, and I was not a fan of that. 
But no, the fingers are very tiny. Entire legs connected like that? Yeah. That's a nightmare. Well, it is. And they had a perfectly good connection system before that. I assume maybe the P the old connection system piece was retired or something. The twenty twenty two. It really weird though. Yeah, so I'm curious what the changes are gonna be if these are ever re released. But uh, yeah, rip Wolverine, I guess. I hope they I hope they are released eventually because I really wanted that Wolverine figure. <laughs> I feel like even if they aren't released, he'll be like, regardless of if they release or not, he's coming up. Like, yeah. Um, yeah, and I think that's about all we got for this week, so a little bit of a shorter one, but we did an hour and a half long one last week, so if you guys haven't watched that yet, go watch it, it's a pretty good one. Um, no viewer questions, because as I said, we're both in the final zone, so I want to get back to that, but yep. uh, yeah, longer one next week, I'll be back home next week, that's pretty exciting for the Christmas time. Uh, Are we doing a that's... Christmas special again this year, Matthew? I'd like to. That'd be fun, because we'll, I'll, I'll be home, so I'll, I'll have time, and we can... That, me having time means we could find time that works in your schedule, so. Yeah, yeah. I think that's always the bigger issue. Yeah. But uh, you're off classes now. You still have work, but you're off classes now, too, so that means you do yes, more yes. time. Um, yeah. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. Uh, and that's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed, press that like button. Subscribe your noob. Right. Come back next so, week on Wednesday. Sensei Wu Wednesday. Woo. See you in the next one, everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. Want to see the mock I've been working on? Sure. I call it two monkeys on pigs. No way! That's awesome. Can I get the? Do you get like a MechaBricks file I can download so I can get the instructions to that? It's an NFT. Oh shoot! Dang. <laughs>